Hey guys, and welcome back to another Pokemon Leaks and Theories video. Today we got a lot to go through. The Legend said a release date has been leaked. The starters have been leaked. These are coming from 4chan, so you know what that means. And we've got a lot more to go through, and it's going to be a very entertaining video. So hope you guys do enjoy. Now, if you want to keep up to date with all Pokemon news and theories, then make sure to subscribe. It really helps out. We're trying to hit 4,000 by the end of the year, and it'll be really appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so we're starting things off with a small story, just a quick little story to get us into the video. And the Delta emulator is now available on the App Store, supporting the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS games. And I've actually already got this on my phone, um, just to show you guys now that I've already got it on my phone. And to be honest with you, it's quite good. So I've got it here, as you can probably see, and I'm currently playing Pokemon. Let's get it up for you. I'm currently playing Pokemon Light Platinum, which is a fan game, which is actually a really cool game, to be fair. There you go, Pokemon Light Platinum. Um, and it's it's good. It, it is good. It is good. But I won't go too much into it, because that's a YouTube short waiting to happen. Um, but, it, it, like I said, it's really good. The only issue is you do have to download emulators off online, so it hasn't got a library necessarily in the game already. You do have to get the emulators online. However, my brother's got it, my girlfriend's got it, and... I feel, uh, my girlfriend's playing Zelda, my brother's playing Pokemon Heart Gold, it works really well. But the only issue is there is some downloading issues that we sometimes may have, so if you do have these issues, then make sure to come to this thread here from Central Leaks because it's got all the things you need. So basically, this was a problem we had when I was downloading games, um, and he's got the drive file files just here, basically just, you know, to help you get the games, you know, make, help you play the games. Um, but no, just a quick little story, and see this guy saying that it's legit done on the app and the ROM stuff less in a minute. It's like, there's there's nothing to say, like, it, it works really well. Um, and I'm actually, like, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Okay, moving on over to 4chan, which you just know is gonna be dodgy. Um, and one thing I like to do with 4chan is I like to decide at the end of it if it's fake or not fake. Um, and I haven't read this yet, and I already know it's going to be fake because it's from 4chan. So, I have some information about Pokemon Legends at A, and I know it seems crazy, but time will prove me right. Let's go. That's not a good way to start. Piplup, Chicory, and Tepig are the starters. Okay. R okay, weird choice. Uh, the, they, are, they had Mega Evolutions, even though they had other types like starters from Legends of Arcus. Um, was okay. Uh, Magnum is a plant and psychic type. When Mega Evolves, it loses the psychic type and gains the fairy type. Empoleon is a water and dragon type. When he Mega Evolves, his trident becomes huge and he gains the electric type. Uh, Embor, I missed that one. So Embor is a fire and rock type. When it Mega Evolves, it gains the earth type and becomes quadrupedal. I won't actually know what that means. Um, everyone has a signature move. Uh, counting these three Megas, we have a total of 15 new Mega Evolutions. That's a lot of new Mega Evolutions. Um, I thought I forgot where I was then. Um, among, the, among them are Mega Sylveon and uh, Mega Aegislash. These two uh, appear battling in the trailer. I mean, I would be all up for Mega Aegislash to be fair. Sylveon gains the Fine type and Pink Wings. Aegislash gains the Grass type instead of the Ghost type. Mm, don't like that. The thing is, they didn't... Okay, this is... Let's talk about other things now. A new way to battle bye-bye turns. New Pokeballs. You saw one that in the episode of Pokemon Horizons. Complete Xerneas and complete with Eltor forms. Collect Zygarde cells around the city. Sometimes they all fall into the wrong hands and you have to battle NPCs again. That sounds realistic. Uh, several underground areas in the real city that adds... So as not to be alone in the city. Let's see the tower. Let's just see the tower being built and an important event around it. Let's just see the prototype of that X and Y weapon. It won't be fired because you'll stop it in time. Young A Z cutscenes. You're battling at the end. Uh, this time, the one who will be used. This time, the one who will be used with will, uh, will be Zygarde. Uh, their objective is to use him to not only activate the weapon but to awaken Zygarde. In the end, he hibernates. That's why he doesn't appear in X and Y. Here in this game, he is very different to face and capture, but he can return in the future. Uh, craft similar items in uh, craft items similar in uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. There will be two new mounts in the water. It's a Gyarados, and then uh, I can't see the other one. Um, to be honest with you, I don't believe that at all. I think that is fake as hell. 
that is good. That, it had some decent points in it. Like, I'm not going to lie. It, I'm not going to lie and say it didn't have some decent points in it. For example, I didn't hate the fact of Zygarde cells being thrown around a city and battling people. I think that can com completely come true. I think that's a, you know, it, it, but then it's not hard to think of. You know, we got these Zygarde, you know, and then obviously what they're doing in Pokemon Go with Zygarde cells, it's not exactly hard to think of. I'm going to call this one fake, and I want to get off as soon as possible. Okay, moving on, we're back on Twitter, and we're going to stay on Twitter because I hate Vorchan. Um, but current switch to reveal timing rumors. Uh, so things are moving due to internal date of the, the console's launch via the person who originally broke the news of the delay. Uh, so this was tweeted back in February of 20th uh, well, of uh, February. Uh, so Indie World in March or early April, that has been announced. Uh, the Nintendo Direct in April, I can't see that happening because obviously we're cutting them into the last stages of April and switch to reveal in June. But it is essentially to uh, follow up with this tweet uh, from uh, 11 days ago. Uh, the person who originally leaked this info is saying that they now believe their information was outdated and doesn't believe we're getting a direct this month. I, I can't see us getting a direct this month. Um, so I'll take the, the internal Switch 2 delay probably has Nintendo scrambling to make new plans for this year. This is why we haven't had much news this year and things will probably continue like this for a while. Overall, we expect this year to be pretty slow and boring. We probably will have to wait at least until June for news. That applies to both Nintendo and Pokemon. Yeah, like I said, I... Obviously, like, we knew that it was coming out this year, and it's been pushed back, and I think that's still why we won't be getting a new Pokemon game this year. As much as I'd love one, we're not getting one. I'm, I'm putting money on it right now, we're not getting one. I'm, I'm sorry to ruin everyone's day. It's not happening. Um, but I'd love to see the Nintendo Switch come out. Uh, obviously, the thing is, the, the issue is, if when the Nintendo Switch does come out, I'm going to be buying it, obviously. Uh, so it gives me a chance to save money, but also at the same time, um, I obviously when we're gonna be getting the switch like I said, they're not gonna be releasing the game They say that the switch does get released in February say they're not gonna be releasing the game in October November time this year um, four or five months before a Game you know a new console gets released and obviously it's going to have backwards compatibility I think that's almost all but being confirmed or it's heavily rumored and um, quite frankly it'd be stupid not to have backwards compatibility But I just don't see them not I just don't see them releasing the game months before a brand new console, I'm sorry. Moving on over to Godmaster Bun, and they have released a mega thread, I love the pun by the way, of when they think Legend Z8 will be released, and they are saying March 2025, using the trading card games as evidence. Peculiar way to use evidence, but I'm all up for listening to this, um, because it's it's a new way, and I, I'm, all up, I'm, I'm all up for a new way, I'm all up for a new way. So, basic information about how the TCG set release works. We normally get a new set around, uh, around every three months, uh, with there being four main sets, excluding special sets released each year. For example, I'll be using Sword and Shield series. Um, and what do we have? Four, eight, twelve sets in Sword and Shield. And quite frankly, I loved Silver Tempest. I was always one of the latter ones. Brilliant Stars I also loved as well. Uh, they released, they released quite a few per game, don't they? Um, so each generation is divided into three sections, and like the video game, uh, each generation in the TCG lasts for three years. The first year normally is just about introducing the new Pokemon from that generation, and whatever the new gimmick is, level X, EX, GX, Vs, and EX. So obviously we've got some pictures here now, and that is a very pixelated Me Too card. Um, of course, nice card. Uh, so obviously, like I said, introduce the new Pokemon, mod up for it. The second year adds a new classification based on the se current series gimmick, as well as whatever new game came out next. You know, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, and the expansion expansion passes. The next, the second year would include the things like Primal Forms, Ultra Beast, Be Battle Styles, Paradox, Pokemon, and Ace Specs. Uh, so Primal Ground, that's a cool looking card. Um, Ultra Necrozma, uh, Rapid Strike, Urshifu. And then we have Prime Catcher. I don't know what Prime Catcher is, but Prime Catcher. Uh, so the third year would be the final year of the generation. They would receive one or more gimmicks to round out the series. For X and Y, you had Break Evolutions. For Sun and Moon, we had Tag Teams. For Sword and Shield, we got V Stars. V Stars were great, by the way. So that's the Break Evolution. Uh, that's Tag Team. Another really cool little gimmick they had. I won't lie to you. Probably the best thing about Sun and Moon was the Tag Team. And then V Star, really some beautiful looking cards. I love Pokemon cards. Uh, so the Scarlet and Violet series is almost halfway done. We're currently on the fifth set and is and it's in the set's second year. 
Our set will be based on the Teal Mask, fo uh, followed by a set based on Terrapagos and the Stellar type. What's the Stellar type? I haven't played. Did we get a new type? Have I missed something out here? Our last set should be based on Dragon types. What the bloody hell is a Stellar type? Anyway, um, so this is Temple Forces. Um, okay, it's so basically just showing it off. Uh, rumors Stellar Miracle set for July 2024 and Star type. Set Terra type Stellar. Okay, that uh, my brain's not working today. Okay, uh, so the start of Scarlet and Violet's last four sets should be in February or March of 2025. We still don't know what Scarlet and Violet's last gimmick will be. The same way these stars were based on Legends Arceus, it's safe to assume that the last four sets will be based on Legend sets to A. Scarlet and Violet have been. The V stars were based on. No, it makes sense. Uh, Scarlet and Violet have been uh, all about returning mechanics. Instead of introducing a new type of card, they brought back Pokemon EX from Generation 3. Instead of focusing on Parallel Pokemon, they brought back a Specs from Generation 5. Obviously, you had EX, that's from 2004. Uh, that is a stunning card. Um, and then obviously, you had Trainer Specs there. Uh, it's safe to assume the last four sets will be based on Pokemon Legends Set to A. And what's a huge selling point about the game? Mega Evolutions. Since Scarlet and Violet is all about returning gimmicks, Mega Evolutions will more than likely be returning to the TCG too. So obviously you had EX, I'm guessing EX, oh, well, the, sorry, Mega, sorry, you can see there's an M, Mega, Mega, Mega. I'm not a big fan of the Mega sets. Um, so Scarlet and Violet's last four sets, which are presumably based on Legend to A, uh, and the return of Mega Evolutions will again likely start releasing by February slash March of 2025. Therefore, let Pokemon Legends Z A release in early 2025 makes sense given the schedule for TCG. I'd also like to point out that when Sword and Shield's third year started, we got brilliant stars in February of 22, while Legends Arcus released in January 2022. Despite not introducing Hisuians, Hisuian Pokemon, this uh, introduced introductory set gave us the brand new V-Star gimmick and was focused on Arceus. Very true, I remember when it came out. Do you know what? I'm actually all up for that. I think that I, I don't I don't see personally where they got March from, specifically March. Obviously towards the end they did state that, you know, obviously with the games coming out, uh, they expect it to be out in February, March time and it comes out a month later so if it was came out in March, it'd have to come out in April. Um, but I'm actually really impressed with that. So Godmaster Bun, um, how many, like, I, you, you've got far more followers than me. Uh, you've got more followers on Twitter than I have on YouTube. Um, but if you do end up watching this, I, I, I like this. I think this is a really good theory. And I would not be surprised if this came true at all. Uh, so this person says, definitely think in February, else they'd have nothing to present on Pokemon one day. As another trailer of Pokemon Legends Z A would be underwhelming. And a trailer for a new game would ruin Pokemon Legends Z A's promo cycle. This adds more coherence for it to release around that time. I'm just thinking March that would make more sense, especially with the Nintendo Switch 2 in mind. Legend Z to A is the only game we know about for the release next year, and being a Switch 2 launch title would be huge for both game and console. Very true. Very, very, very true. I'm, I like this post, I won't lie to you. Uh, I, I'm gonna even going to give it a like. I think that's a brilliant post, and I, I, I can see that becoming true. Okay, our final post is coming from Poke, Su Poke Sutanami bloody names I can't pronounce. Um, so a super quick note, Nintendo, so basically, obviously, in the Koro Koro uh, posters, we obviously had up in this upper corner, up here, uh, which not many people thought to look at, uh, we have this, Nintendo Switch 2025 Japanese words and more Japanese words. Um, so this is what they released. So obviously, Nintendo Switch is obviously you can read it yourself. Scheduled for release in 2025 and price unknown slash undecided. We'll probably be talking about 50 quid. So, at least according to this Koro Koro article, Pokemon Legends Z A will be indeed on the Switch. But that's not really confirming much since the probability of it being available on the Switch 2 will obviously not be announced before the actual console itself. Very true. And even if Koro Koro knows this information, they would not be able to say so yet. And if they did say so, they would be absolutely baggot. Um, so, we go read through some of the replies because obviously. I can think that that's, I, there's a lot of like leak people coming, like leaks coming out, being like, "Oh, this is what this says. This is what this says." It's not a made-up language. It's Japanese, um, so I don't understand why there's so much uh, confusion with the translation. Like, I understand certain words being not fair enough, but then like some people are com saying completely, not the completely different things. Um, but this one does sound relatively true, to be fair. Um, so it doesn't really matter what people say. Uh, it's going to be on Nintendo Switch 2. And it, the reason it says Nintendo Switch now is because Nintendo Switch 2 isn't announced yet. Still failing to realize Pokemon don't release mainline games on the first year of any console. I mean, that's very true. 
obviously, th 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 that is a very good point. I, I like this point. Um, and Central Leaks uh, has actually replied to it, uh, which I didn't actually see coming. Um, but obviously, we had Pokemon Let's Go Eevee not being released. Obviously, the Switch being released in 2016 and Akron released in 2018. Um, so, they waited a full two years to release it. Um, and then obviously you had X and Y being released a fair few years after Nintendo's, uh, the 3DS. So they, they, that is very true, but Central Leaks does have a say on this. Um, so it's very, it's different this time though, as this time will be the first for the SDK, for be very similar for the amount of work for Game Freak, I don't know what SDK means. Uh, it'd be the amount of game work for Game Freak to launch in Nintendo Switch 2 native version will be minimum. Uh, it's Nintendo's opportunity of a lifetime to launch a mainline Pokemon game close to a console launch and Game Freak will just need to check a box in the complicated compilation targets. And then they reply, we'll see, I've discussed this topic with a lot of people already and I've concluded that people who want to believe that will just believe no matter what. I'm not the person who's going to get disappointed if that's not the case though, so I don't really care at this point. That's a bit of an arsey reply. Um, but, I see both sides, obviously, they've never really had an opportunity to release a mainline Pokemon game around the same time as a console's been released. Um, and it's, it's a golden opportunity to do it. But past year is hard telling us that they just don't do it. Um, so either way, I won't be surprised, to be honest with you. But that is all we got time for today. If you did make, if you did enjoy, it, make sure to like and subscribe. And like I said before, if you want to keep up to date with all Pokemon news, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.